man. Just take your time. I think it's number one. Number one, please step forward. Yep, that's definitely him. Number one, you are under arrest for... Oh, let me say it. Go ahead, Professor. Indecent exposure. Hello, my friends. I'm Professor Hans von Poppen. Welcome back to Pocket Film School, your handy online resource for better filmmaking. Today, we're talking about exposure. Now, what does that mean? A camera, any camera, works basically the same way your eyeball does. When you open your eye, you're exposing your retina to light. The lens of your eye focuses it back on the back of your eye, projecting an image on your retina, which then gets sent to your brain. Your retina has a certain range of sensitivity. Too little light and you won't see anything. Too much light and it can damage your eyes. Just how much light gets in is regulated by your pupil. When it's dark out, your pupil gets big to let in as much light as possible. When you go out in the sun, it gets very tiny to limit the amount of light. Now, a camera works much the same way. The film or digital imaging chip has a certain range of sensitivity as well, actually a much smaller range than your eye has. And a camera lens has an adjustable iris just like your eyeball. You open it up to let more light in and close it down to let in less. Now, with your phone or your consumer camera, this happens all the time without you hardly thinking about it. You can take control of what part of the image is being exposed for. But what's really happening when you do this? Well, it's all about the numbers. The size of the diaphragm letting light pass through the lens is expressed in f-stops. The low f-stop numbers represent a big wide aperture, while the high f-stop numbers mean the lens is stopped down, letting in very little light. In this tableau, we can expose for our subject, but our cops will be underexposed. If we expose for the cops, then our perp will be overexposed. Each of these f-stop numbers, 2, 8, 4, 5, 6, 8, 11, they let in half as much light or twice as much light as the number next to it. Now on a digital camera like we're shooting with here, we can adjust the sensitivity or ISO as well. If we double the ISO number, the camera is twice as sensitive. So that equals one stop on the lens. So as we raise the ASA or ISO, we can stop down on the lens. But the more we raise the sensitivity, the more gain has to be introduced, and the more the image degrades and becomes noisy. Ugh. It's best to set your ISO at a value that gives you a solid image, and then adjust your f-stop for the right exposure. Professor, this guy's way too bright. What do we do? Well, you could just turn off that light right there. What? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, oh, much yeah, better. better. Yeah, now, with yeah. the lighting evened out, we can select the correct exposure. Oh, what a relief. So, I can just go, right? Uh, no. You still showed your penis to all those ladies. Yeah, you're going down for a long all time. Right. Thank you for watching Pocket Film School. If you found this the least bit instructive, why not share it with your friends? Thanks very much to my regular Pocket Film School cast, including the lovely Miss Christina from Bad Girls Ball, and a special thanks to Mr. Travis Ritchie. Thanks for helping out, pal. Oh, well, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Well, where can people find you on the YouTube? Oh, you can find me at the Travis Ritchie channel oh, and uh, see such shows as Two Hot Guys in the Shower, mm -hmm. the Inspector Space Time <laughs> web series, and uh, and we actually just relaunched Boy Cow Radio as a podcast uh, with our friend Mark W. Gray co-hosting with me. Oh, that guy is a a total genius. Very, very Listen, funny. if you have any questions about filmmaking or anything for that matter, please leave them in the comments below. We are here for you. Thanks, Travis. Oh, I appreciate it. Thanks, you guys. That was really fun. Yeah, I had a great time. Be sure to like and subscribe. Yeah, but Hans, you're going to let me out of here, though, right? Guys? G guys? 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 Guys?